Hey folks, happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, December 7th, and our prompt for today says, Joseph was faced with a very tough decision. So as we're thinking about the incarnation all this week, obviously part of that story has to do with Joseph, the earthly father of Jesus, the the uh, engaged, uh, soon-to-be husband, but not yet husband of Mary. And uh, today we're going to read a little bit of that story in Matthew chapter 1. So open your Bibles over to Matthew. Uh, that's the first book in the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Uh, so Matthew chapter 1. And and just as yesterday, we I, I was commenting that the book of John, written so late, only to a Greco-Roman audience, who very much thought in philosophical, theoretical ways about God. And so we see uh, Jesus tell the story in a way that those folks would understand. Matthew is written to an audience that includes a significant number of Jewish people and Jewish Christians. And so these people are very much tied to that old Jewish story. These people are very much tied to those Jewish prophecies um, about a child being born and about a child from a certain family and and uh, so Mary and Joseph are that family. And so it's important to for the Hebrew people that they understand that Jesus is connected to that family uh, because that's a family that they're from. But in the Greco-Roman world, it's not important that Jesus is connected to that family because they have those Greco-Roman people have no connections to that family. And, and so it's not a, a part of their understanding of God and life. So. Uh, so we just see two, you know, two different sides of the same coin, and that's good. Uh, that increases our ability to understand God. All right, Matthew 1, 18, 18. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way when his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she found she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, Plan to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all the language before he they were engaged, before he lived with her, so before they had sexual relationship, she shows up pregnant, which in, unless she's pregnated by the Holy Spirit, it means that she was um, uh, impregnated by somebody and engaged in relationship with somebody outside of that marital relationship. And so therefore, in that culture, she would have been banned and really ridiculed. But Joseph loved her so and respected her so that he didn't want her to go through that ridicule so he planned to just sort of dismiss her quietly but then God intervenes and brings Joseph to a different plan and a different way of life this is what Christmas is about it's about God intervening in all of creation or God intervening in the life of uh, Joseph or God intervening in your life in one way or another. How is it that God is intervening in your life right now, if that's the case? Or how has it been when you look back and, and think about the ways in which God has intervened in your life? What, what are those stories? Or perhaps the question is, what is it in the future where is a place that I need God to step in and to intervene in my life so that something, anything might change? That's what Christmas is about, uh, God intervening and changing everything. I pray that uh, you might have clarity of understanding God's intervention in your life on this day. God bless. Have a great day.